Hello. On behalf of Rocket Queen 71, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are struggling with drugs, alcohol, and or mental illness, please contact someone you trust or contact your local behavioral health center. If the situation requires immediate action, please call 988. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, formerly known as the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, provides free and confidential emotional support to people in suicidal crisis or emotional distress 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, across the United States. No matter what problems you are facing, whether or not you are thinking about suicide, if you need someone to lean on emotionally, there's no shame in asking for help. You are not weak for asking for help. You're not alone. The world is plagued by an epidemic, by a disease that shows no mercy. The demons known as addiction and depression are very real, and they have claimed far too many of those we love far sooner than they should have left us. Those still with us are fighting a battle they wage every day of their lives, keeping those demons at bay. It's up to us to show them that they aren't alone, that they have nothing to be ashamed of, that we understand, and that we will fight with them and for them. Closer to you for this one. The song A Reason to Fight, I know it's personal to the group and it's very personal to me. It reaches out to those who suffer from mental illness, addictions, or depression, any and all of the above. There have been so many times in my life when I really wanted to stop fighting. I'm a survivor of a suicide attempt, and on paper, I shouldn't be here. I also am one of them. I've dealt with depression most of my life. During high school, I did have those thoughts of suicide, and I was really in pain. I had plans 
to kill myself. I battle depression almost every day. It is a fight, it's a struggle. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I started drinking at the age of 16, drank to forget all my problems, tried to commit suicide a couple of different times. This song speaks out about so many different things to so many different people. They have a message. The message to fight the demons and suicide and depression. touched home with me. I lost my nephew a few years ago to uh, addiction. My grandfather had an addiction with alcohol. It was pretty bad growing up. I lost my brother a year ago to depression. He took his own life. It's good that they're trying to raise awareness on not only addiction, but depression also. I've lost friends in the military, both to combat and to suicide. About oh, five years ago, I learned that my father committed suicide. And since then, I have been an advocate on why you should not do it. I won't give up, so don't give in. You've fallen down, but you can rise again. So don't give up when the demon that reason and right now you may not feel like you have a reason to fight i didn't feel like i had a reason and in the end i realized i have plenty of reasons to fight but you can't do it alone and it's okay to ask for help we makes us stronger everybody not i not you we being there for someone who has that thought is the best thing you can do I fight with my demons every day. It's a daily battle with the monsters in my head. We all have our demons, and most of the time, suffer in silence. I don't go through it myself, but I see what she goes through. We're not alone, although it takes a lot to accept that. But there is hope, and if you can offer hope, it can reinstill faith. This has blown me away, what happened to take us. It gave me kind of the new understanding of what you can do with your music. It can be about actually changing people's lives. And David was super clear about what the call to action is, that we want to care about people who are in crisis right now. We keep losing soldiers in this war. And I'm tired of losing so many people that are so talented, so many people that I care so deeply about, to the demons of addiction and depression. We lost Keith Flint from The Prodigy recently. I miss Chester, I miss Scott, I miss Chris, Paul Gray, Wayne Static. The list goes on and on and on. And this is not just an epidemic that affects the world of entertainment. Our veterans, our military, they're dropping like flies. 22 veterans take their own life every single day, ladies and gentlemen. And we do not do enough to support them. Being taken by addiction or depression is no one's fault. It is not something for you to be embarrassed of. It is not something for you to be ashamed of. Turn some light on these people, please. To prove to you that this is not an affliction that is exclusive to the world of entertainment, by a show of hands, how many of you have dealt with the demons of addiction and depression yourselves or know someone that has? Take a look around at this arena. You are not alone. We're in this together, my brothers and sisters, my blood, and it's up to us to take a stand, to make a pact here tonight that we will not wait until the day of our beloved's funeral when we are standing in front of their casket and the words keep echoing through your mind, I wish I would have. Are you ready? 
to begin This is a battle that we are gonna win When you're raking for the fire. Mental health, mental illness, addiction, all of these kinds of things have such a negative connotation and them taking the time to really pay attention to this, telling us we're not alone. You're a great leader because you really want our people to succeed too. It's all pretty close. Absolutely. 18 years sober. I just celebrated for you as clean from addiction. As of writing this, I am seven months sober. That took some serious bravery, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what we all have to be is brave. When bands like Disturbed publicly speak about mental illness, it helps open that door. Thanks for telling your story. I told mine back in December for the first time, so... Hey, bro. You know what it's like? I know how hard it is to get up in front of one person or 10,000 plus people and tell your story like that. Now I can say I'm 100% sober, but more importantly for me, 100% right now in a good spot in my head. If we can just help one person, then we're doing something right that could be you. So ask for help if you get the chance, please. If you are in crisis, or know of someone that is in crisis, please contact the National Addiction Hotline at 1-800-662-4357 or the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. Through the strength and support of our extended family, we can make a difference to those who fight this war. We must continue to be their allies, their hope, their added source of strength. We must continue to give all of them a reason to fight. your song. It's about something we're not supposed to talk about. We're not supposed to talk about suicide, right? Because it's scary. It's really scary. Everyone here has been touched by it one way or another. We all struggle. We all know what, uh, we all know what darkness is. And if you are feeling like you need to take your own life, Please do not. Please wait. Please talk to somebody. Somebody loves you always. There is someone who will listen. And I love you. No matter what. No matter what you've done. You are not alone. Sober, but I'm far from dead. Still, I'm 
What's happening? I'm Brent. I'm Barry. I'm Zach. And I'm Eric, and we are the band Shine Down. And we're here to talk about kind of what we do to um, combat mental health issues in our band while we're out on the road. And for me, it's it's talking to these guys, or as simple as asking someone how their day is, or asking what's going on in their lives. I think that's very important. Yeah, we, we, we keep in touch with each other on a daily. Uh, we live with each other, so we don't have a choice. <laughs> we see each other all the time, we're very supportive. Uh, I think a big thing for our band is, is exercise, staying healthy, uh, trying to live a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy. All those things help with, uh, at least help me with the depression issues. And, and uh, we stay really busy. And so. Uh, and nobody goes to bed angry. Nobody goes to bed nope. angry. We're always up laughing. And, we laugh uh, a lot. Yeah, and just trying to, uh, I always say we try to outrun it as best we can. Hello! On behalf of Rocket Queen 71, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are struggling with drugs, alcohol, and or mental illness, please contact someone you trust or contact your local behavioral health center. If the situation requires immediate action, please call 988. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, formerly known as the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, provides free and confidential emotional support to people in suicidal crisis or emotional distress 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, across the United States. No matter what problems you are facing, whether or not you are thinking about suicide, if you need someone to lean on emotionally, there's no shame in asking for help. You are not weak for asking for help. You're not alone.
Hey, this is Rock Queens. Everyone coming at you live from my headquarters in Rock, Oklahoma. How's it going? It's Tuesday, 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 And it's terrifyingly hot in this room again. But how's it going? I hope you're staying cool where you're at. Uh, I wish you guys well. I hope you're being positive. I hope you're not being sucked into the darkness. I think I'm being melted by this heat. Uh, let's check in on how we're feeling today, guys, first. How you feeling, guys? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Are you feeling fantastic? Are you feeling uh sweaty? Are you feeling positive? Are you feeling smitten? Are you feeling in love? Are you feeling horny? Oh, all right. Well, well, TMI, TMI, TMI. Are you feeling fearful? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling sad? Are you happy to be here on the stream? You guys, you're more than enough just by being here. I do truly appreciate each and every one of you that shows up. How I feel is a little bit under rocktastic, I'll admit, because of the heat in here. Uh... I want to stream for a little bit. I want to work on the stream. And the heat is really getting to me, I'll admit. Uh, I have my water. I have my Java mon Monster, but I'm just sipping it. Java Monster is the only rocket fuel for this rocket queen. Hell yeah! But I can't work in these conditions. Uh, I can't. I have a mini fan. I hope it's not interrupting the uh, the audio. Uh, I have the mini fan and this family hat had for a while and it's not doing me any good uh it's only been I've been in here for about 45 minutes in my studio and the stream's been going on for about uh, a little less than a half hour um I want to work on certain things on the stream and stuff. Uh, there's a big, huge update for my stream, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, and it's all connected with a rocktastic band out of Tampa, Florida. And, uh, I'm uh, I'm not gonna say which name, whatever, but it's a video that I actually uh, uh, showcased on here, uh, and uh, I'm very proud of it, of what I accomplished. And I'm I'm hoping I can get other bands to join in on this. Uh, and stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm, it doesn't show, but I feel very flushed, um, I'm doing okay, guys, uh, I shouldn't say okay, I'm, I'm, uh, today my back was really killing me, my anxiety was up, the heat, doesn't make it any better either. It was over 101 here in Rocklahoma. 
they should have, call it like lava rock, Oklahoma, right? Because it gets so freaking hot, hot in here, it feels like you you just feel like you want to melt. Uh, so I don't know what's going on, guys. You know, uh, I found out today that uh by my doctor that I have a degenerative uh, lumbar disease which is basically you know like sort of like arthritis I guess uh, and hold on degenerate hold on I'm just gonna lumbar All right, so let me just switch here real quick. I don't know what's going on here. So, this is what I have. It's called lumbar disc degen. Well, it's not. Well, yeah, I. All right, well, that, I'm sorry, guys. All right, so this is lumbar disc degeneration leads to pain in your lower back while cervical disc degeneration causes pain in, in the neck, which I had neck surgery, guys, back in July 20th, 2020, two days before Mixer shut down. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that date as long as I live. Uh, but that pain and discomfort is... Not always limited to those areas. A degenerate disc can pinch or compress the nerves in your spine. If it happens, pain can travel to other parts of your body, like with me, with my hips and my 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 legs and stuff. Uh, In some cases, the spine loses flexibility and bone spurs may pinch a nerve root, causing pain or weakness. Uh, yeah. People may... Oh, wait. Uh... People may experience uh, pain in the in the legs, thighs, buttocks. Have that worsens w with standing. Yes, I do have that. Lower back, neck. Yes, sensory pins and needles or reduced sensation to the touch. Yes, I've had that with my feet. My you know my feet. Uh, actually, when I lay down too, my my. My arms and my hands fall asleep, and it takes me a long time to, you know, I think I have carpal, well, I, I was diagnosed with carpal tunnel, too. Uh, muscle spasms, nerve energy, or physical deformity. Uh. It can be difficult, to, guys. It really can. You know, uh, the doctors can only do so much. I do not want surgery whatsoever. Uh, they're probably going to put me in pain management and all that. Uh, you know, and, but today, uh, it was really bad. 
my anxiety level went up. Uh, and like I said, the heat, even though we have like air conditioning and fans going or whatever, it, it really uh, exacerbates uh, the situation and everything else. But uh, that's where I'm at. What are the, uh, well, hmm. treatments. Uh, treatments can ex include exercise, which I don't get enough of. And I admit that in the last video, uh, sometimes it's really hard to walk. I'm not going to lie, you know, it's just. Medication, physical therapy, uh, chiropractic treatment techniques, and physical therapy. I do not believe in chiropractic. I think it's it's <laughs> which medicine? Uh, I've had a viewer on here that was a chiropractor and stuff, and he says, "Oh, it's not, you know, it's not what you think it is, and it's just, you know." I can't, you know, I'm afraid I'm just going to end up with a freak act by uh, having a freak accident where I'm going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I do not want that whatsoever. <laughs> uh, physical care, physical uh, exercise, heating pad. I do put uh, I do put uh, an ice pack on my back. Medication, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. Uh, yeah, I, I do that. Medical procedure, epidurals. I've had shots in my back. They do not work. It's like a crapshoot. At first, it did work. I was like, oh, you know. But they don't work. Like I said, it's a crapshoot. Surgery. Uh, I don't want surgery. <laughs> I already had it on my neck. And uh, I'm trying to find the one that I... Laminoplasty, I think I had. Yeah, this is it. So, what is cervical? Lemioplasty is a surgical technique that removes uh, pressure from the spinal cord and the neck. And they move actually, <laughs> they move your esophagus, your breathing tube, everything to the side. <laughs> and I still have, t at times, uh, I still have problems choking every once in a while, which scares the hell out of me because uh, my grandmother's brother, my Uncle Herb, who was about to retire, choked on a piece of steak. <laughs> so every time I choke, and when Jim's not here or whatever, I freak out. But, so cervical laminoplasty is a surgical technique that removes pressure from the spinal cord 
and neck that can be due to various reasons, including degenerative changes, arthritis, bone spurs, dis, uh, herniations, or fractures. Uh, I feel like maybe it's, I don't know. I feel like <sighs> I have a feeling that it actually made my, my back worse, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, but that's, that's what I had. Um, so, uh, I'm, let me go back here. It's like over 40 minutes. I am dying. I'm not, I mean, not, not, I mean, I mean, I'm dying of the heat in here, okay? I'm not dying. I'm just <laughs> slowly withering and melting away in this room. And, uh, it's not good because I'm, I'm like, I don't know if you can see that. Well, no, you can't, but I'm really sweaty, uh, and stuff. And I don't want to pass out in here or anything uh i wanted to do some work on here i had ideas i and all that stuff but eh, you know things happen but i hope you are doing well i hope you know uh you know you're staying strong you're doing everything that you can uh for your recovery, especially in early recovery, you know, from drugs and alcohol and or mental illness, might get issues, okay? Uh, you know, this world is getting crazier and crazier and weirder, weirder, <laughs> a new uh, buzzword, right? Weirder. Uh, you just have to go with the flow and find yourself a support system you can always talk on here guys with me you can leave comments or whatever uh tell me what your thoughts are and what's going on in the world tell me like uh how you doing you know or if you're you feel stagnant in your recovery from drugs and alcohol or whatever you know uh Yeah, I do not feel good. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, you know. I made an effort, guys, to be on here. I, I, I made an effort. And, uh, I feel deheated. <laughs> Defeated by the... <laughs> Defeat it by the heat. <laughs> that's that's the phrase. I feel defeated by the heat. I'm telling you. Uh hopefully tomorrow maybe I can get back on here. And maybe I'll be a little cooler or whatever. And maybe I'll I'll rush. You know, I'll go on Am Amazon and rush a uh, fan it in here or something because I can't I can't tolerate this at all. But uh, so. Uh, If you have any suggestions for the stream, guys, please feel free to uh, 
time, man. And I, I, I'm more than willing to be open-minded about certain things. Please tell me how you're doing. And all that. Uh, take care. Be kind to we to one another. Uplift people. Be the light in the world instead of the darkness. Do something special for yourself. And uh, hopefully tomorrow the heat will let up and I'll I'll feel much better. <laughs> So, uh, thank you for joining me on my stream, guys. I truly appreciate it and stuff. And, uh, if you believe in my mission, guys, we can create a wildfire of change to bring the, to bring down, to bring light in the, wow. See, uh, my, <laughs> The heat's making my brain all mushy. <laughs> it's melting my brain now. My my brain's melting oh, because of the heat in here. Okay, okay. Let's try that again. If you believe in my mission, guys, and listen to Queen's Light Brigade today, so we can diminish the darkness in the world, be the light, and we're gonna fight like hell to get rid of the darkness, guys. We're gonna fight, 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 right? Because the world needs it right now. So with that, guys, I'll catch you later. Have a rocktastic one, guys. Through the darkness we rise, soldiers so bold. United as one, our mission we uphold. To diminish the darkness, ignite the spark. The Queen's Light Brigade, a beacon in the dark. In the face of adversity, we stand tall. Defenders of light and serving the call With passion and fury, our voices unite To fight for a world to with your life Guardians of hope, soldiers of light Raise your fists high, in that our battle fight night In the name of change and courage, we will invade For the Queen's Life Brigade, a legacy we made In the depths of despair, we lend a hand Extending our light across the land Fighting addiction, mental illness and strife Our mission is to bring hope back to life In the depths of despair, we lend a hand Sending our lives across the land Fighting addiction, mental illness and strife Our mission is to bring hope back to life So let the thunder roar and the heavens quake The Queen's Light Brigade will never break We fight with compassion, hearts through with love To empower others and rise above Guardians of hope, soldiers of might Raise up this high as our battle cry ignites In the name of change and courage we will invade For the Queen's Light Brigade and the legacy we made Hello. On behalf of Rocket Queen 71, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are struggling with drugs, alcohol, and or mental illness, please contact someone you trust or contact your local behavioral health center. If the situation requires immediate action, please call 988. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, formerly known as the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, provides free and confidential emotional support to people in suicidal crisis or emotional distress 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, across the United States. No matter what problems you are facing, whether or not you are thinking about suicide, if you need someone to lean on emotionally, there's no shame in asking for help. You are not weak for asking for help. You're not alone.